From the vault. From the vault. Even brought some of my top secret. Yeah, so uh, last night, while everyone was watching the Kornacki cam, we made a board. So the first board, uh, we made three boards, but the first <laughs> board, uh, I'll just skip to the one that everyone's going to talk about. So this is an ESP32 S2 in a Pi Zero form factor. Yeah, and I even, I even brought a Pi Zero case to show yeah. my idea here. Is that it could fit in the case? Now I didn't. I didn't quite get the holes lined up right. Yeah. I totally just like threw down whatever. So now I have to actually get you know this moved over. We'll this moved over. And I'll, you know, I kind of wanted these buttons maybe to poke out the uh, HDMI port so you could like you know reset it by poking it. Yeah. Um. So I think that'll that'll happen soon. But it, you know I got the holes lined up, and then you know I don't think that this is gonna like really work with the slot, but. You know, yeah. in some cases they have like a more of a hole, or, or if you have like a sandwich. But it's got an ESP32 S2. Um, I tried to match the pin I/O numbers as much as possible to these uh, pins here. Of course, it comes with like more stuff like analog input and DAC output. There's a um, debug port which has a USB serial converter, and then there's a native USB port button for boot and reset, a NeoPixel. Um, battery power with a battery monitoring circuit and a STEMI QT. So it's simple, basic. But I like the idea of like, you know, you've got maybe these like Raspberry Pi bonnets or hats, like this is from, you know, Pi Maroni, and then you can plug it in and you could still use it. But instead of having to run Linux, you could just have a little like Wi Fi microcontroller that can like still run Python. You might be able to port some of your projects back and forth, kind of blurring the lines between. Um, Circuit Python, Python, using Blinka, and then like going back and unblinkifying your code. Yeah, could be cool. So yeah, that's it. And then um, we had two other boards. Um, here's the other one. Yeah, I made some MPI R121. I, I thought this was discontinued, but I'm still able to purchase this chip. So I, I made like a a Gator breakout, and then I made just an, you know Stemma QT version of our current breakout. All right, we're working on some more e ink stuff. Here is the uh, tarot card, the horoscopes. It's not out yet, don't ask. Um, we got a revision of a board uh, that's coming out. And then here's a little bit of sneak preview of some stuff we're doing with our machine learning Braincraft board. And that's top secret. Back okay. in the vault. Okay.